The Salem-based Satanic Temple isn't your grandfather's Satanic Church. For starters, they don't worship Satan. In fact, the temple, which has 17 chapters across the U.S. and five more abroad, says on their website they do not promote a personal belief in Satan, arguing instead that for them the devil is a symbol, quote, in opposition to arbitrary authority. Over the years, the temple's members have raised the national profile by fighting for the freedoms afforded to other religions, including here in Boston, where they accuse the city council of discrimination for denying the group's request to deliver the invocation at the weekly meeting at City Hall. And in several states across the U.S., where the group has demanded that satanic statues appear along Catholic ones in public spaces, prompting public outcry and protests, which were documented in the new Magnolia Pictures film, Hail Satan. The Satanic Temple was founded in 2013, but just last week they were granted tax-exempt status by the IRS, making them an official church in the eyes of the U.S. government. The Temple's co-founder, Lucian Greaves, joins me now. Lucian, it's good to see you. Good Thanks for being you. here. Thank so you've you. got to explain this to me. You don't worship Satan. You don't believe in the existence of Satan. So it's not like a Rosemary's Baby kind of experience, right? So what do you, what do you believe in? Well, we consider ourselves a non-theistic religion, and part of the battles we fight, even though you see... Uh, primarily these battles which are framed as Satanists versus Christians where we're looking for equal access to public grounds. There's also a bigger battle for uh, equal opportunity for exemption and privilege for non-believers and anybody who has claims of consciousness to go along with their deeply held beliefs. And we feel we have all the elements that any religion should. We have an ethical structure, we have our own community, we have our own set of practice, and we have our own types of literature and, and congregants who get together at our, our place, our establishment of, of worship, as the IRS would call it, even though we don't use that terminology necessarily for ourselves. But you did apply for the status, though. Yeah, we did apply for the status. You don't believe in the supernatural either. We do not believe in the supernatural. So as you say, non-theistic religion, to many of us, that's oxymoronic, but it's it, not. It shouldn't be, right? Because in the United States, we believe we live in a pluralistic democracy where everybody has in equal capacity for a civic engagement. And when you're giving preference to people who hold supernatural beliefs, which we term superstition in, 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 in any of its manifestations, you are giving second-class status to people just because they don't believe in the unprovable. So why are you, uh, my understanding, you're a humanist to me, not to you though. What, what is the difference between your temple and what people like me see as humanists? Well, the idea that a lot of people have is that we are Satanists merely to provoke and offend people of the Judeo-Christian faith. I was going to use the first verb, not the second, but the pro provocation part, but you don't buy that either. Well, that, that's a happy byproduct of okay. what we do. But a lot of us grew up in Judeo-Christian culture and have somewhat bad feelings about that kind of cultural indoctrination we went through. And it's begun to mean something else to us. Even at a metaphorical level, it's still very powerful and it resonates with us. And it kind of sets up the narrative framework of where we think we belong in the social order. But how are you not humanists again? Give me a sentence on why I'm wrong. Because we're Satanists. Because that, <laughs> that, that, sim, that symbology, that, that set of, that, that, kind of, that kind of narrative structure, that uh, socio-political counter myth of Satan means something to us. And it's something that kind of helps motivate our works and so what is, is Satan? reflected Who is Satan in our art. What is Satan to well, the we, Satanic Temple? We're more, we're more in line with uh, the Milton vision, the Which Paradise is? Lost vision of Satan, the, the rebel against ultimate tyranny. You know, it seems to me, I'm going to try another one. I didn't succeed on the humanist front. What you guys are doing, and if I'm right, I love it, is you're working to protect the state-church divide. Is that, an, is that not a fair that, That's a large part of what we do, and we see... Uh, theocracy imposing itself, we feel, into our politics today. And a lot of the reason we sought our IRS exe exemption status wasn't necessarily for the financial benefits because we don't reap enough financial rewards for but it to be meaningful. We are tax exempt, but more importantly to us, we feel that this legitimizes us in the eyes of the law to the point where some of our legal cases being fought right now, where the defense is hinged upon this idea that we're merely satiric. Those kind of go away. So that's kind of, it's going to buttress your case. That's exactly where I was going to get whatever is a statute in Minnesota, a statue in Minnesota, or those kinds of things. You're a religion, according to Donald Trump's internal revenues. You, when you held up that we got the papers, you got to say, do you believe we really? You did say that, didn't you? 
Were you surprised you got it? I was surprised we got it when we did. I expected they would come back for more and more clarification, that they would put us under increasing amounts of scrutiny before we finally got the letter that, that validated us, but we, we got it. Quickly, if you can, what's the next thing we're going to read about you guys doing in the newspaper? What's the next project? Winning our lawsuit in Arkansas, where they put up a Ten Commandments monument but denied our monument going up. Their whole argument was based on the idea that we're not a legitimate religion. Now the defense has to scrap that argument entirely, and I think we'll win in summary judgment. Congratulations. Nice to see you, Lucian. Thank I you. I appreciate it. Lucian Greaves.